let's kind of start from the beginning. So let's let's check to see if everything is set up on the back end. And what I mean by that is billing, because we got to have some card up here on file or it won't allow us to set it up. So then this card here, let's go to payment settings. Okay, so is this the one right here, 5836? No. Okay, so what you can do is I can just send you over this link and you can just update that on your end if you want. All right. That way you don't you don't give me the, the card number. Yeah, you're fine. So let me um in fact I'll I'll email it to you. I'll set it up right now while you're doing that if you need to, so we can go forward. Yeah, perfect. So are you in there right now or do you want me to send you the link? Oh uh, no, send me the link and I'll just Okay. Yeah, if you're logged into Facebook, you should be able to just click this link and it'll take you straight to the payment part where I, that I'm looking at. Well, let me ask your uh, opinion on something. Should I put a card on there that's got a bunch of money in it or put one on there that I don't hardly ever use or what's your... Yeah, I would, I would recommend a card that is not your debit card. So it's a credit card. Okay. And I would suggest if you have one that does not have a high available bal available credit limit. Yeah, I've got one. It's got about seven fifty on it, so I use it. Yeah, you can use that one. Use use that one. Okay, so this is FB link. So if you click on that, <coughs> take you straight to what I'm looking at. Yeah, I got up today thinking it was going to be just regular old money and she had a thousand dollars hit. Bam. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. That's pretty cool. All right, I got it. And I'll work on that. Okay, perfect. I'll have it done here in just a second. We can go forward. Okay, so we'll do that. And how much time do we got? How, how much time do you have right now? Because I got plenty of time. Okay. I'm worried about your time. Uh, let's see. Click edit or remove it. Just edit. Yeah, click on, or you can click remove. Cancel. Yeah, I'll just remove that thing. Remove. Now that I had a payment method, I got it. Got it. Uh, I'm just going to add that card. I don't need to add anything else. Are you still there, David? Okay, you there? I'm here. I got it, Ham. You should just refresh it. You should see it. <laughs> Don't I have to point you somehow to to be it? There you go. Perfect. I need to more get it out of my mouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to request access to the account 
so I can help you run these ads. Sure. So what I'm going to do is if I come over here and we go to business settings. Uh -huh. And then we come to add accounts. And then what we're going to do is we're going to simply. Could you get rid of that one that's there, River Valley, whatever? Yeah, this one right here, you you can, but you, you it won't it'll, it'll stay there. Like it won't. Oh. You're supposed you're supposed to be able to hide it, and it won't show right here. But yeah. Once it's here, it's here. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Okay. So. What we have to do though is your account is disabled or inactive. This could be due to the reasons such as violations of our. Okay, so what we got to do is let's see if we can. Yeah, see, I owed him a little bit of money at one time, but I went in there and paid it. Okay, create a new ad account. Let's see if we can create a new one. So let's let's see if we can create this one. This let's name this Shed View. Let's name this one Shed View. Okay. Okay, so Shed View. Um, in the next. Okay, my business. No, we'll do another business or client. Let's do connect using their business ID. Um, select an existing business partner. We'll do it. We'll do it under. Let's see if we're going to have to do it under that one, but it won't be a part of that one. It will just stem from that one. Okay. So let me see here. Okay, perfect. Then we add you, manage add accounts assign okay cool so this is the actual account that we're going to run from right so um let's go ahead and save close okay so this is shed view so if i come back to ads manager shed view is what we're going to run everything up so running everything under so if i if I click on this drop down, so now we see Shed View up here in the top left. So this is a brand new account. So we got Shed View, and then we got this older one, which is um, which is Marlin. So now we can we can kind of you know keep everything separate. Everything's going to run under under this one. It's under Veteran Seller Health, but but that's that's just. In fact, I think we can even change that name. So we do that. So we'll we'll, we'll um. We'll do that as well, but let me go back to billing because now we may have to connect it again, the card. Now it's now, I think we're gonna have to connect to that one. So let me just double check. So this is shed view now. We go to payment settings, payment settings. Okay, so yeah, so you're gonna have to add, so let me send you, let me email you this one. This is the one we wanna, we wanna run with. So there's that one. And I'm not going to put a title to it. So just, or a subject line, go ahead and just check that. Got it. And that was salemarketing.com? Yes, Sally. Salee Marketing. Um, Salee, it's Prince Bang, man. Okay, there we go. Now, now we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so let me let me do this really quick. I'll add a pipe of acid while you're doing that. Okay, perfect. So now we're now we're good. So that should that should so that's it right there, right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. So we'll give that a few minutes and we should be good with the dot com. Um I'm almost done here. No, take your time. And we'll we'll break this into 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 one more one more Facebook coaching call. Because what we're gonna do right now, 
I'm going to have to jump off in a few minutes. Oh, yeah, no problem. But what we'll do right now is we'll install the Facebook Pixel. And then our next call is to set up what Facebook calls a custom audience. Yeah. And also what Facebook calls a custom conversion. Okay. And all that, we can do that on the next call. We could talk tomorrow, whatever, whenever you're available. But that's it. Once we have that set up, these what 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 is what is not exactly what what is not exactly set up which will be literally all we would have so once we've done with this facebook side of it all the landing pages those are all good to go but what's not really good to go are the emails i got you so so we don't got to set up 15 of them right now but but at least set up the first one um i I know that first one needs to be edited the the welcome one so the moment they opt in they receive an email right away of the brochure. Check that billing on that one. I just set it up. Okay, let me refresh this. Okay, perfect. We're good. We're good. So um, what we can also do, let me see if, if Facebook still allows it. Okay, so the threshold, let's go threshold. Um, what's the highest we can go? I, I, I know it, they, they gradually increase the threshold every time we make a new payment, but the threshold is really like ran, right now it's set up at two bucks. Uh-huh. I don't want Facebook to be charging your card every $2. I'd rather have them charge it every hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah. You know, so I normally have this as high as possible, but right now we need it a little, I mean, it's up to you. If you want to keep getting a damn email every $2, cause that's, what's going to happen. They send you an email. They send you a receipt. Right. So you're going to be getting a receipt every two bucks. So I don't really want that. Let's let's, I don't know how high I can go to start with, but let me just see if I can put a hundred, which I don't think it, Okay, thanks. As you make successful payments, we'll continue raising your billing threshold until you reach 100. For now, you might still receive bills less than 100. Okay, so that's fine, but we'll leave that. And then what they used to allow is they used to allow us to set the time on when you're billed. Uh So for example, I mean, this might be good, leaving it at the 31st. Like, so for example, you can run ads once we get past the threshold. So once we're able to, to edit the, the hundred or edit the two bucks or whatever it is, yeah. we have a higher threshold. Like I normally put mine at a ridiculously number, a number that I know I'm not going to do. Like for example, 10 grand. Like yeah. I, I know I'm not going to spend 10,000 for the month, but I'll put the threshold there just so I don't get any random charges. I just want one charge. I don't want to charge every $2. I don't even want to charge every 100 bucks. I want to charge once a month. And so as that number, as we start to run ads and the number starts to, our threshold increases, then leaving it at the 31st is good because what ends up happening is you end up running. And, and, and for example, you're only, let's say we only spent a thousand for the month, then it's only one bill. So you'll, so you'll be able to run ads the entire month of May and only receive one charge on the 31st. You think you could help change that name up there, David, from Veteran Sailor Health and Wealth to uh, Salib Portable Building? Oh yeah, let me um, let me go to, I believe that is, yeah, that's for sure under the settings. Let me go to, it's actually. I'm um, trying to do it one day and it's confusing as hell. No, I got it. I got it. Let me um. Let me get to that part. Okay, so it would be. Um. Okay, so it would be under. Let me see here. There we go. Okay. Where do we want to change it to? 
Soleil Portable Building. With an S? Yep. There you go, it looks right. Perfect, we're good. Yep, sounds good. Okay, so the ad account, and the reason why I wanna add myself to the ad account is just so I don't have to keep logging into your account sure. to check everything. I can just check it from my side without needing any passwords. I can't access anything anyways. I can't, your credit card's hidden, so I cannot access your credit card at all. But it just gives me access to the account so I can look at all the ads and, and adjust accordingly. Let's do it. So if needed. So what I'm going to do is I am going to simply on my end, let me go to. You gotta send me something. Yeah, I'll either, um, you'll either get a notification or I can just see it here or we'll be able to just see it here. Let me go to business settings. <laughs> so we'll take care of this part and then we'll install the pixel and then let's chat tomorrow if, if you're available. And then that's when we'll set up custom audiences and the custom conversion and that's it. And then all we have left are those emails, but it's not like we got to set up 10 emails right now. We really only need a couple, the one that they receive right away. And then maybe, maybe a couple that they receive tomorrow, another email they'll receive the next day. So maybe just a total of three, four emails need to be written. And, and that's literally it. Right. So I'm going to yeah. come over here. So this yeah, I'm about it. I don't really like bugging people to death. I mean, don't you yeah. just get freaking emails from these people? Yeah. Yeah. Just a handful, just a few would be, would be, would be okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to request, request access to an ad account which is yours. So type your ad account ID or follow these steps to request access to an account. So contact the owner of the ad account, ask them to go to the ad account tab in their business manager and click assign partner. So I'm going to come over here to your ad account. Here's your, actually, this is mine. Let me go to yours. So I'm going to come over here to add accounts and then I'm going to simply add, um, let me refresh this really quick. Okay, so let's click on shed view and let's see if I can just add right here. <coughs> or I can click on partners, assign partners. This ad account is shared with other businesses. View permissions, okay, so assign partner and then assign partner by business ID or click link to share. So let's click link, yep. manage account. There is the link. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my page real quick and I'm going to simply go to that link Oh, you're doing it for me. You're showing me how you're doing it. Man. Yeah. I got you. No problem. Because you're logged in. Ask yeah, me. I'm logged in. Okay. So, Sally Portable Billings has given access to their ad account. Okay. So, which business do you want to connect this ad to? So, we're going to connect it to Inspired Digital. We're going to hit <laughs> next. And then we're going to hit con confirm. Assignment failed, try again or check if the link is still valid. Hmm, okay, so let me just refresh this page here. Okay, I should have had, I should have seen it right here. Um, after this ad account is connected to your business, you can manage it. Confirm. Check if the link is still valid. Hmm. Okay.
It says add this. It says, okay, so what I'll have to do is let's go back. Um, Give it your shit, man. Copy. <laughs> well, the damn thing should have went through. It should have, it should have for sure went through. And, but let's see if I got to do it a different way. And if I got to do it under the, the different one, let me see if I could just do it this way. Uh, okay, so let's try a different, let's try a different route. Let's go. Okay, so close this. Um, sign partner. Let's go business ID. Okay, sign sign to enter partner business ID. Let's see here. Okay, so let's go back to my account really quick. And then what I'm gonna do is this inspired digital. So I'm gonna actually let me go back to, yeah, I'll just use that one. Let's go to yours. This is the second way to do it. So let's do that. Isn't a valid business ID manager, that's weird. Um, Let's go. Okay, so, okay, perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it under, I'll put it under, let me see if this one's, this one, if it takes this one. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, next. Isn't it valid? What the hell? Why is it not taking it? I'll figure this part out, Marla. I, I'll figure this part out. I don't wanna take your time on this. I'll figure this part out. It, it should be reading that. Let me try one last one just for the hell of it. And if it's not, I'm, I'm cool, man. Just tell me how you're cool. Let's go with. Let's see if it if it could be this one. Yeah, see that's that's weird. I don't know why it's not reading those account numbers. If I have to log into your account, then I'll just log into your account. You're that's fine. fine. That's fine. Good. Into, you just tell me I'll help you do it. Okay. So let's let's install the pixel really quick. Okay, perfect. Our dot com is ready to go. See it's connected now. Just that thing and see if it's up and going. Yeah, so let's log out. I don't need to be a name cheap anymore. Let's log out of this. And then we'll go to my pages. And now for the opt-in page. If I try to plug in so marketing.com will, will it pull that up now or what? Oh yeah, for sure. Now let's name this um say what should we name the forward slash? Because it has to have a forward slash. Uh, I'm not following you. So it's gonna be Saley Marketing.com forward slash uh, shed view or forward slash. Shed view, spot. Shed view. Okay. So that's the link right there. If anyone clicks on that and goes there, it's taking them straight to the landing page. I gotcha. Can you can you email me that link? Yeah. Look for it. Yeah, buddy. I just tried it and it's working. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's trying. It's working, man. Did you see it? I can't see what you're seeing, but do you, want me to, do you want me to email it to you still? Yeah, email it to me. But when you get done emailing it, open up a new window and type in SoleilMarketing.com. Yeah. It's yeah. Right Man, that's cool looking. Okay, so there's that link. 
so that is that's your that's your that's your um your link there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here to your ads manager and let's install the pixel really quick and the way we're going to even know that the pixel is even installed is over here i have this facebook it's called a facebook pixel helper and it's a little plugin that sits up here in the top right. It's this little bad boy right here. You see this shaded box, this shaded gray box. Many of your videos not to know that already. Yeah, so this right here, <laughs> that is letting us know that there's no pixel on it. And so once we install the pixel, that's going to light up. Right, gotcha. So let's go to. What's the pixel even do? Can you explain that to me? Oh yeah, for sure. The pixel allows Facebook to start tracking the people who are landing on it. I get you. And the reason why that's so important is because in the in the in the field of internet marketing, when it comes to just websites in general, you have a hundred people that will hit that site. Right. But a large percentage will not opt in or will not even buy. Right. But I still want to know who those are. Because if I have, let's just say, for example, and these are real numbers, let's say out of 100 people, 80 of them turn away. Right. 20 of them actually opt in. I mean, shit, with those numbers, you'd be a, you'd be a wealthy man sure. with 20% opt-in rate. Oh, yeah. So job. two out of every 10 people actually give up their name and email, actually are interested. Two out of 10, those are phenomenal numbers. But let's just say what happens with the other 80, right? The other eight out of 10 we create what, what we call a Facebook custom audience. And those are, that's going to be data. Those aren't going to, we're not going to know names and numbers. It's not a lead. So Facebook's out of privacy policies. They're not going to give us, you know, Hey, John, you know, Smith, he's one of the eight. No, it's not like that, but it's data. So out of, out of, so eight out of 10 people landed on the page, but turned away for whatever reason. Now for them to see your ad and to click on it, and to come over to your web page, there was some interest there. For whatever reason, they did not click here to download your free brochure. Whatever reason, they could have been driving, dinner could have been ready, something on the, on the stove could have been burning, the kids are probably crying, whatever. There's a million things that go on. And, and people, they'll come to the page because there was an interest, but then they end up leaving. The Facebook pixel allows us to capture that data, allows us to capture the eight out of 10. Wow. And the reason why that's so powerful is because as I go and run Facebook ad number two, wow. I want to show it to the eight people. Sure. I want them to see the next ad because I got them this close. Maybe the oh, next oh. ad will, will tip them over. I got you. I the Facebook pixel, someone the, the Facebook pixel is for yeah, it, it, it's to track all the data. It's to track, it's to track the data. And, and, and Facebook will start giving us the analytics and start giving us the reporting and start telling us how many people clicked on it. And, and so that's a whole other Facebook call. So right now, what we'll focus on is, is the pixel and, and at least getting it on the page. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to open up the page. And then I'm going to come over here to Facebook and we're in shed view. So I'm going to hit these dots. I'm going to come down to, um, I'm going to come down to, where's that events manager. And I'm going to grab the pixel. Actually, I'm going to set it up because I don't think it's even set up on the Facebook side. I don't either. So let's set it up real quick, which takes a couple clicks. So we come over here. And it should be right here. Okay, so Facebook Pixel, offline events, app events. Okay, perfect. So we're going to click the blue button, get started. And we're going to name our pixel, which is Shed Views Pixel. That's perfect. Okay, so we're going to click continue. Why does it have 34 by it already? What's that? It had 30, the number 34 right beside it for some reason. Um, I didn't see that part, but we'll, I'll go back to it. Okay, but here is the pixel. So I copy that and then I bring it over to the Karcher page over here in the settings, click on settings. We come down to tracking code and we come down to embed Facebook ads tracking code. So I paste that right there. 
Yeah, man. How long does it take? How long does it take you to figure all that crap out? Uh, probably, probably a good couple years. <laughs> a good couple years. Oh, wow. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manually in, I'm gonna manually add an event code, and uh, an event an event code is really just going going into it even even further in detail. We put the pixel. Facebook knows who's tracking it. But what I want to what I want to do is I want to I want to kind of label the traction. So wow. what I can do is I can come down here. Let's see which category best fits your business. Is it is it retail? Is it it's not it's actually not e-commerce. Is it fun? No, it's not financial. Is it professional services? Is it technology? Is it education? Is it real estate? Um. It's not automotive. We can go professional services. Okay, professional services. So the pixel is going to start tracking the data. But what we can also do is go a step further and track, okay, is it someone who just landed on the page? Is it someone who completed a registration? Is it someone who entered their credit card number? So there's different ones. Is it a lead? Now, remember, this is the landing page. It's not the thank you page. Right. When, we, when we do this to the thank you page, we can label it under lead. Right. Because anyone who lands on the thank you page, they're only, the only way they could have got there is if they filled out the damn form. Right. That's a lead. So the lead doesn't go on the landing page. What I normally do on the landing page is just simply... Product. What's that? Did it need to be a customized product? No, it could be, it could be view content. Because all it is is they're landing on the landing page. That's it. They're just viewing the content. Wow. That's it. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm going to also paste it right there. Wow. I'm going to click apply. So remember, now we have the pixel and now we have a tracking code of viewed content. Wow. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit publish live. I'm going to grab the link. So here's the new link. I'm going to come over here to my, to my pay, to my, um, I'm going to open it up a new browser. Uh -huh. So remember there's the shaded gray box. Uh -huh. It was shaded gray prior. Now, if I go and open up the page now, let's see what happens to the box. It should light up. There we're it locked. goes. Yeah, we're so locked. now Facebook, what's that? What does it have that little three down below it? Because there's, Facebook's tracking three different data points. Awesome. They're tracking the page view. They're tracking the page content. And this is just a micro data, the fact that we have our pixel on it. Uh, so now what we can do, the reason why this pixel, to answer your question even further, the reason why this is so important is because, again, out of 100 people, 80 of them are probably going to leave. Sure. 20 of them will actually come over here and say, damn, okay, this looks pretty cool. I'm on a brochure, 20%. But the other 80, they didn't opt in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a custom audience around those people so I can continue to run ads to them in the future. Wow. Because if, if you landed on my page, there was an interest. Why in the hell would you have cl clicked on my ad in the first place. Uh -huh. So you came here for a reason. Although you didn't pull your pants down, that's fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll track you with my pixel and I'll, I'll see you around. Uh, exactly. I'll, you'll, you'll catch me in your newsfeed next week when I run another ad. It's on the flip flop. You know, so, so uh, now our pixel's on that page. So now what we got to do is we have to put our pixel on the thank you page. Uh -huh. So let's get out of here. We're set up for that one. Landing page is good to go. Now we're going to come over here to the thank you page and we're going to, we're going to install that pixel on this page as well. But just like you saw the different events, this one is not going to be page view or view content. This one's going to be lead. Anyone who lands on that thank you page is a lead. We're going to let Facebook know that. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to, um, Let's refresh this. Our pixel should be, should be already set up and ready to go. 
Let's go over here. Tell you what, what blows me away, David, is some of these bigger companies got a lot more money than you and I. Oh, yeah. They don't do this shit. For Not some at all, man. Not at all. Not at all. Blows my mind. There's that pixel. And then what I'm going to do also is I'm going to simply hit continue. I'm going to manually add event code. I'm going to grab, let's go back down to professional services. I'm going to grab lead and I'm going to, I'm going to use that labeling. We'll hit done. Come over here, paste that there. Click apply. We'll hit save progress. And then we'll publish live. And now, if anyone lands on this page, let's, let's also tie this to your .com. So we'll leave that schedule consultation call. So that's what they see. So if I go to this page now, so this is lit up blue and green. We also got this one. Let's see this one light up. This is the thank you page. This lights up, and if we click on it, Page view, lead. Wow. As we go and look at our analytics in Facebook to really look at the numbers and say, hey, okay, is this shit adding up? Are we spending enough? Are we making enough? Is our ROI there? As we start to look at these numbers in the future, we can categorize all this stuff and say, okay, yeah, we got 57 leads. We had 18,000 people that page viewed. Right. So we're able to look at all these from, from a, you know, a grand scale and be able to look at the numbers and be like, okay, damn, we're seeing a pretty good return on investment. Sure. So now we'll do one more page, which is the, so let's get out of this one. I want to do one more and that is the thank you for scheduling. So as they come to the landing page, they enter their name and email. They go to the thank you page. On that thank you page, we're trying to get them to schedule an appointment. As they click the button and go and schedule an appointment, 10 a.m. Central Time, submit. They go and land on this thank you for scheduling page. Well, I want to be able to track that through Facebook as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, hit settings, go to tracking code. I'm going to come back to Facebook. I'm going to get my pixel again, which is this right here. I'm going to put that down over here, but also here's what I'm going to do. I am going to manually add event code. I'm going to go down to professional services. Now this event is going to be schedule. Uh, I see. The booking of an appointment to visit one of your locations. I'm going to grab that. Wow. Bring it over here. I'm going to apply that. Now I'm able to track. Now, of course, I could track everything through Kartra. Of course, anyone who fills out the calendar, they're going to be on their own email list. Wow. I, can, I could track it that way as well. But when it comes to my marketing dollars, I want to also track it through the marketing platform, which is Facebook. So by adding these pixels, Facebook's going to track all this for me as well. Sure. So I'm going to put on this one. Thank you. Thank you for scheduling. That's the link right there. So now if I come to this link, let's get out of here. So let's go to, let's go to this page. Okay, perfect. So that's that. That's that. Now, if I go to the thank you for scheduling, this box should light up. So remember, this is appointment confirmed. Now, if I click on this, schedule. Yeah, yeah. Wow, unreal, man. Now we're ready to go, man. Well, to tell you the truth, we need, we, need, we need another call to set up custom audiences, and then, we need, we, and then in that call, we can also set up custom conversions, yeah. which yeah. are super important to finalize the ad side of everything. After we do that, we're ready to rock and roll. I need to figure out how to go to that pop-up uh, where you put in the uh, email and everything and fix that. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw that. That needs to be that needs to be updated as well.
that. This thing is almost killer going on here. Yes, man. Yes. We gotta we gotta fix that that pop up. And I wanna I wanna put that pop up on the two images as well. So if, if they just come here and they just click the image for the hell of it, I oh. want that pop up to pop up. Right, right. Opt in form. I wanna make a point to you, although they click on the metal buildings there. They don't know if they're going to get a brochure for that or not, but but they will be getting a brochure for it. Uh, let me let me ask you about that for a minute. Once they click on the the top one, then they can get a brochure. But don't you think we need to get together on a different brochure on that uh, one below? It's up to you. You can you can send to make it easier for you. I would just send. I would send. I would send both brochures. Both. Oh, I got you. Sent, okay. and, and and they're both going to be sent via one email. Yeah. So all we need to do is just add another brochure for the for the metal buildings. No, the two brochures that you have now. Yeah. That's what they're going to receive. I know that the brochure. Uh, we need to add another brochure for the metal buildings, don't we? A third one? Yeah. Do you have one? Do we have one or no? Uh, for see those those two are for just the, the wooden buildings. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Can you see me right now. What's that? Can you see me right now? No. Okay. Well, let me. Can you can you fix it where you can? Yeah. Let me let me fix this part really really quick. While you're doing that, let me grab this other brochure. Well, I tell you what, I'm not going to have another. I won't have a brochure for that one, David. That's fine. That's I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, I may have to choose if they order a metal building. I may have to choose. Two or three different. Uh, I've got two or three different metal building companies I work with. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put all, all of them on there. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. We'll just give them the uh, the free uh, portable building brochure and let it go at that. And if they want to schedule a call for a metal building, I'll just put them on the configurator with me and build a building. Okay. Them. So look at what I just did right now, which which these forms need to be edited, but I just put them in place just to just to have them in place, and let me show you how they're going to look now. So as a person comes to the landing page, they click on the ad, they come to the page, and then obviously there's the button down here, you know, click here to download. If they click the image. If they click this image. Yeah. Wow. So now I'm getting them. I'm getting three ways. One, fill out the form. Two, fill out the form. Three, fill out the damn form. Got it. Wow. Cool. So, because when I see an image, I try to click on it all the time as well. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. people will click on the image and right away I want I want that that form popping up. So we just gotta edit this part, obviously. And, and, and that's it, man. And then, and then edit, edit, a edit the welcome email. So right when I download that first email that goes out and that email is tied to this over here. Let me show you where that, that first email is at. That first email is in my forms. So over here to the left, okay. this is where the welcome email is coming from. The welcome email is coming from Shed View Design. So if I click on these three dots and I go into edit, oh. This is where I want to link the brochure. Okay. So I come over here, I hit save and next. It takes me to the confirmation. Let's see here. We're in the confirmation. So that's the thank you page. They're gonna to go to the thank you page after they opt in. And it's this welcome email. So this welcome message, this is where, this is where they download. Click here to download download your free brochure or something like that. But this is what I mean. So, so what I would do is I would, I would hyperlink this and this is just an example. We'll, we'll rewrite this and, and, and edit it. But as an example, I would bold it 
and then I would link it like, for example, so here's, 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 I'm going to give you a perfect example. I'm going to set it up. So I go to my memberships, I go to files and then I can just grab the link. So here's the link. I'm going to link that right here. Okay. So click here to download your, what was it? What's the first one? Wooden. What was the first one? Uh, free brochure. No, this, this one right here, this, this premier. That's, uh, oh, that's the uh, uh, price sheet. Okay. So click here to download your free price sheet. Click here to download your free brochure. brochure. Okay. So what I would do is I would simply grab this link and I'm going to set it up to be this link right here. Yeah. You're setting it up now. We're we'll going there and edit it later. I'll see what you do. So we got that. And then over here on the second one, I'm going to grab this URL. And then I'm going to paste that in right there. There yeah. it is there. So here, here, Jack, here are your free brochures. Okay. So then I'm going to send test email. Give me your email. Marlon Salida at gmail.com. Marlon at gmail.com. Okay. Marlon Saley at gmail.com. Send test. Okay. So I hit save, save and next. I got it. Okay. So you should be able to click on those two links and there's your brochures. So that yeah. welcome email is in my forms. That is what needs to be edited. And oh, then yeah, that worked. That worked great. Yeah. And then over here, over here in my communications, if we hover over communications, we we click on sequences. Uh -huh. It's it's this one right here. So in the sequence, this is where we also need to set up. Now we don't need 15 more emails that follow, but at least a handful, at least maybe three emails. Right away, they receive the welcome with the link to download. And then tomorrow, you want to definitely email them again tomorrow. Hey, Dave, this is Marlon. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know yesterday you downloaded your free 2020 brochure. Just wanted to touch base, see if you had any questions. If you'd love to chat, my calendar is wide open. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you, Dave. Yeah, I got that's cool. Second email, same thing. Third email, same thing. And what I would do is I would literally break down the brochures. So just sure. like you mentioned earlier, how you hate getting emails, uh -huh. I do too. But if it's based on something that I'm actually interested in, and if, and if, and if that person is actually educating me, it's a different approach. It's a different email. It's no longer junk mail. You know, open, that, uh, open that one PDF for a minute. I'll show you. Which one? The second one or the first one? Price list. Price list. Is it the first one? Yeah. That's the most important one. And I'll tell you why. Well, see, here's my point. You're going right. to tell me. You're, here's my point. You're going to tell me why in the first and second and third email. Sure. So that's, that's the email. So those handful of emails that go out, break down the prices for me. All right, right. And that's just, and you don't need to write, you know, 15 paragraphs. Just give me a few sentences. Just so you know. Yeah. Let's say you pick out on the first one to the left. Let's say you, the size you want is a 16 by 40. Well, the next price, the next uh, price, the price is right there to your right. And on over to your right, that's 36 month payment. On over to your right, that's the 48 month payment. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm staying in the same line over here. Go back to the left. There you go. Stay in that same line. No, no. Just say it. Stay in that same line. Just four things we're talking about. That's the size. If that's the size you want. What's next is the cost of the building. What's next is 36 month payment. What's next is 48 month payment. They didn't explain that. Besides. Mm -hmm. 
that pick out what style you want by looking at the photos. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? See, and, and the next level, this is something you'll do later on, but sure. just I, I just want to give you the vision and, and how I'm thinking. The next level is when you can take these few emails that are about to go out the following days. Right. And you are on video explaining that. Right. So we got one video for the actual ads, but on the back end, I also have videos that are going out in my emails. So once they download, they come to a thank you page. Hey guys, this is Marlon. Thank you so much for downloading your brochure. But tomorrow they're going to receive that email again, another email again. And the next level is when you could put yourself out on video on that email and explain this. Right. I got gotcha. you. Hey guys, this is Marlon. Just wanted to come on video and explain, hey, I know yesterday you downloaded the brochure, but I wanted to talk to you and spend a couple minutes regarding this 16 by 40. Let me break this down for you. See, as now, now it might it might feel like it might feel like pulling teeth to get a handful of videos done up front. But once they're done, oh yeah, you're done. You just oil the damn machine. <laughs> you just build a green main fight machine. That's it, man. And the damn thing goes on, on go, go, goes live 24 seven while you're out doing your damn thing. Yeah, you're done. You're built. Right. Gotcha. I'll do them. I'll so, do them. It's, it's a little bit rough done, but I'll do them. <laughs> yeah. No, we're, we're, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. So yeah. I got to jump off, but let's chat either tomorrow or Wednesday. Cause that's when we got to clean up even more Facebook stuff, the custom audience, the custom conversions. And then, and then let's, let's work on these emails over the next couple of days as well. And that's it. We're ready. You want to set a time or you want me to? If you can, no, go ahead. Set a time. Set, actually, it'd, it'd be anytime after, anytime after 1 p.m. Pacific. It would have to be anytime after 3 p.m. either on Wednesday or Friday. Okay, you want, if we can do Wednesday, that'd be best. Yeah. You want to set it up on your end now? Yeah, let's, let me. Um, directly on the time. Let me go to your calendar. Okay, so what do I have open? So Wednesday, I have yeah, I have I have I have either Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Tomorrow, yeah. Tuesday at three. That's three my time. Yes. Actually. One my time. Give me your email. Marlon Sully at gmail.com. Okay, Marlon. You got it, Marlon. Let's go with um Okay, so you should receive that that confirmation. Why did you put plus time? Because for some reason your other email wasn't working and you weren't receiving my emails or my reminder calendar emails right yeah and so i i tweaked it a little bit added okay. something else so the cartridge system reads a different email and thinks it's a different email, email. Right now, right? what's that i should get an email right now right i got an email you should get an email as well okay i got let's see if i get one no just try marlonsalee uh, at gmail.com and see what happens. I didn't, I never got an email. Hmm. Let me, um. I'll check my email here. Nope, oh, I already get one. Yeah, I got, I got the confirmation on my end. You should have got it. Yeah, something's wrong there somewhere. Um, just try my regular email, marlinsalee at gmail.com. Let's see if I get an email. Okay. We might have fixed it a while ago, too. When you change some of that stuff around. The domain names and stuff. You know that building you commented on earlier? Yeah. Yeah. I put that on my uh, face, my uh, Facebook business page yesterday after that. That thing already hit like 600 
hits on that tape. Oh, wow. Wow. People like it, I guess. I don't know. See, so this, it was sent. So right here, again, I can go into your lead. I could click on log. I can see what was sent. So that email was sent. It's titled Calendar Confirmation. I know it was sent, but it's not, it didn't get to me. So something weird about it. Is it is something, in, it's not in spam? Uh, might be in spam. Hang on. Let me look. Nope, not in spam. Hmm. Can you just, uh, can you undo that schedule on, on that particular time and re enter it with uh, marlinsalia at gmail.com? See what happens? Yeah, let me see if, if that makes a difference. That's weird. I don't know why. Well, I think when we went in, my card drill earlier and you changed some of that around, it fixed it. I just got something. Yep. Just, I just got to cancel. Yeah. See that, I guess it must've just been, it must've needed a little bit more time. See it, it worked. It just, it just took, it, it took a little longer than normal. Well, I mean, I've got the email that says you're canceling it, but I didn't get the first one. Yeah. Let's do it again then. So what, when do we set it for tomorrow at three? Yeah. Tomorrow at three. Marlon Salih at gmail.com. Okay. That's it. I got it that time. Okay. Yeah, I know the other one worked too, but it just it just took a little longer. That's fine. So I'm glad you got it. So we're on the we're on the schedule. Let's chat tomorrow. Sounds good. I appreciate all your time, Dad. Okay, boss. Have a great night. We're gonna kill it with it, man. Yes, sir, I'm ready. I'll see you soon. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Bye bye.